What is that? These just taste sad. Dang it, I'm too poor for this. What's up you guys, Jackie here. I am back in the Delish studios. I have quite the adventure for you guys. We are traveling to Erewhon. So Erewhon is a grocery store out here in Los Angeles that really gained popularity because the Biebers would shop there. Also Kim Kardashian and her family were known to shop there. And ever since the Hailey Bieber smoothie came out, everybody has like wanted to go there and shop there. And it really is the Mecca when it comes to health and wellness. So truly Erewhon has blown up in the last couple of years. And not only has Erewhon blown up, but our pockets have blown up too because it can be pretty expensive to shop there. So I figured why not get some of their craziest items and see if it's worth it or not. So we're gonna be trying a bunch of things today. I'm talking about hot sauces, fruits, hot food, juices. And I'm gonna let you guys know, is it worth your money or not? Let's get into it. Our very first round is smoothies, juices, and drinks, or drinks, if you wanna be fancy. I have 25 items total that I'm gonna be trying today, and I just wanna let you guys know, we almost spent $400 on 25 items. Our total came out to $390. I know, that's so crazy, but I'm excited to try all these products, and apparently it's worth your money because you're getting really, really good ingredients. So first things first, smoothies, juices, and drinks. Um, I'm gonna go from right to left, but I think this one is just so beautiful and it's been catching my eye since we actually left Erewhon. So this is the Cactus Plant Flea Market. It has so many ingredients. I wanna say 15. Coconut cream, strawberry glaze, banana matcha cream, yuzu lemon, sea moss, blue magic. What is blue magic? Sounds fancy. Oat milk, chlorophyll, lemon juice, mango, turmeric, orange juice, carrot juice, pineapple. Oh, and it's $22. Their smoothies, we already know, are very pricey. But I mean, all the things that I just listed, $22? Well, we'll see if it's worth it. Aesthetically, she's gorgeous, she's beautiful. Are we in Pride Month? Cause it's giving pride, it's giving happy, it's giving joy, it's giving, it better be good. Whoa, okay. That sip was different than the first sip, which makes sense. Cause if you look at this, it seems like it's really layered with all of like different ingredients. You know what this reminds me of? If you ever went to an ice cream truck, the Flintstone push-up pops, the texture, not only the texture, but the flavor, it tastes exactly like that. So it's kind of giving actually a sherbet flavor. So throughout this video, I'm going to rank all of these drinks and food items um, one to five Hailey Bieber heads. We're using Hailey Bieber because you know, she kind of put Erewhon on the map somewhat. I will rate this drink right here. I'm actually gonna give it for Hailey Bieber heads because it's not something that I would drink every day, but I actually really enjoyed it. You taste all the ingredients in it and it was actually a really nice drink. That mango and pineapple, so fresh. So yeah, for Hailey Bieber heads, not bad. So next up we have the Bohemian Raspberry Smoothie. I love the name of it. I think they're popular for these too because it's kind of just grab and go. You don't have to wait for them to make it right then and there and you could just grab and take it. Whoa, that is nice. Right off the bat, as soon as I it hit my tongue, it was just extremely vibrant. It's really nice, it's not bad. What is that? It's good when it comes in, but then when it sits on your tongue for a little bit, it has a really funny taste, which I don't necessarily like. And I can't put my finger on it and that's what bothers me. I'm like, what is that? Um, that's what it is. That's what it is. I knew I tasted it. It's coconut water in there. I like coconut water by itself, but I think to have the raspberry and then a coconut water aftertaste, it's just, it's not balancing out for me. I don't know. I'm gonna have to give this two Hailey Beavers. I don't think I'm gonna go back and get this. Next up, we have this bone broth tonic. And honestly, it spilled a little bit on the table and left a yellow tint. There's turmeric in it, and if it stains the table like that, what is it gonna be doing to my insides? But that doesn't matter right now. How does it taste? Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's something. Let me take another sip. I don't understand why people want to drink bone broth. Like, is it something like when you're sick and it like really helps like clean out like your senses and stuff like that? It is kind of miserable and then it kind of makes your chest a little warm. So for me, I, I just don't understand. Help me understand why people are ordering it. What are the benefits? Because it's definitely not taste. But um, yeah, so if I'm gonna rate this, I'm gonna give this one Hailey Bieber. And I feel like that's generous. I, I just don't see the point in it. it. Doesn't taste good to me. Doesn't make me feel happy inside. If anything, it makes me really sad. 
and really uncomfortable. Next up, we have the activated matcha, which is just like a fancy matcha. This has collagen in it. Anybody out here in Los Angeles hears that there's collagen in something, they're like, sign me up, I'll drink it, I want it. We're all trying to, you know, be a little youthful out here. Tastes like a matcha latte to me. Tastes like any other matcha that you could get anywhere else. What is the price on this? $11. Okay, it's $11 again because you got that collagen in it, so they're, you know, hiking up the price tag. I think if you're someone that likes matcha and you want a matcha latte, but you want to work on your skin and look a little youthful, for $11, maybe that's worth it for you. Taste-wise, it's 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 nothing special. It's, it's a matcha latte. So I'm gonna give it three Haley's, like right there in the middle. I don't think it's anything special. I think it's just a standard matcha latte. I think the only thing that excites me about it is like, oh wow, it has collagen in it, that's different. But as far as taste, it's not making a difference on it. Next up, we have the Coco Chino, which is a coconut cream frappuccino. I love the name of it. It makes me happy. I feel like when you read that, you're like, ooh, that's gonna be really good. I had a coffee already this morning. I don't need this but I'm excited to try it. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. That is delightful. What I love about this, it's a really good balance between the coconut cream and the actual coffee. Sometimes when you get you know, frappuccinos, it could be too coffee heavy or too sweet heavy. I feel like this is perfect in the middle. I feel like if I drink this now, I'll be set for the rest of this episode. My energy will be on 10 the whole way. This is a little baby cup for $8. I think I still would spend my money on it actually because it's really tasty. I like this, I like this a lot. Y'all, I have to get five Haley's to this Coco Chino. It was delicious, it hit the spot. I'm a coffee girl and this really made me happy. Last but not least for this round is the Jing Master Shot. Y'all see I have all this energy now. <laughs> this is the Jing Master Shot, $6 which I think is pretty pricey when you get those shots. There's apparently deer antler in this, and there's ants in this, and there's goji berries in this. I have never consumed deer antlers before. I probably have consumed ants before, but not to my knowledge. I'm sure an ant has gone into a sandwich or a chip bag and I like accidentally have had one. But deer antlers, like what does that mean? Smells actually terrible. Actually, that's not terrible. It has a very like bland taste with like just a hint of sweetness. And I, yeah, it's not bad. Apparently, it helps with muscle growth and it helps strengthen your bones. Who's doing this research? Where are we getting these facts from? I don't know. But for someone that does like to work out, it's good to know that it's helping with muscle growth. I'm gonna give this for Haley Beavers because now the next time I'm out and about with friends and family, I'm gonna be like, you know what I tried? Deer antlers. You know what I ate? Ants. They're like, what, Jackie? What? what? Tell me about it. And I'm like, oh, is that your one? So there we go. For that reason, I'll give it four Haley's. Listen, I think we are off to a great start. I have already discovered so many things. I also learned so many new things as well. And we're only on the first round. Let's go to the next. This next round is the pantry round, which means we have sauces, we have condiments, we have things that you're gonna need in your kitchen for any dish that you're gonna be making. I love almond butter. Never have I ever spent $18 on almond butter. That is pricey, $18, like, I'm sorry. I do love that they serve all of these things in these glass jars. I think it's really nice. I think it's good for the environment. But what I didn't realize on this $2 bottle deposit. I was like, oh, that's interesting because I was trying to figure out like the pricing and why things are expensive. I was like, oh, okay. You're also paying for the packaging. But I didn't realize that this is on top of the price that you're actually seeing in the aisle, which is insane to me. Let me break that down to you. So say this is $18. You see it on the aisle, it says $18. But when you check out, you're paying $20 for this which I think is a little deceiving. I'm confused. I thought this was $18, now it's 20 at checkout. How <laughs> is that okay? But here's the thing, I have to give it to them. You can return them and get your money back, so there is that option if you have the time and energy to do so. The one thing I will say, looking at all of these things, it looks really fresh. Like they just made this in the kitchen maybe earlier this morning. It looks fresh and it doesn't look like it's been sitting around for a while. 
I knew better than to put that much almond butter in my mouth. I'm gonna need some milk after this. What I love, what I want out of almond butter is that thickness. Because when you're eating it with like a smoothie and stuff, it's just a nice balance. I also love putting these in protein shakes. It's a really great almond butter. I taste the almonds, I taste the oil, almond butter. I just don't think $18 is worth it. Price wise, I can't rate this anything higher than a three. I'm gonna give this three Haley Beavers. I don't think it's worth the money. Okay, so next up is this turmeric tahini dressing. You can use this multiple ways. You don't have to just only use it on a salad. Also, you can just use it as dipping sauce. Oh, that smells really, really nice. And see, it's nice and thick too. So you can use it as a dipping sauce. Honestly, it's really tangy. It also kind of has like a mustardy taste as well. That's really nice. Pretzels. I wasn't even planning to put these two together. This is literally all we had in the studio. This snack right here, this is all you need. I know I'm sounding like I'm like over exaggerating, but th these flavors together are on point. I like this. This is a nice little snack. I'm gonna give this Five Haley's, I really like it. I'm not a dressing person. I'm not eating salads all the time, but now I have a salad, dressing, and dip. Five Haley's. All right, y'all. Next up, we have their homemade pickled jalapeno peppers. They're fermented pickled jalapeno peppers. This is $12. Let's open it up. Woo! Ah, I love fragrances or scents that immediately when you smell them, it reminds you of something or it just wakes you up a little bit. When you open this jar, like, you're awake. <laughs> yep. Oh. 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 It's a little spicy, as we know, it's jalapenos. That tastes fresh, that tastes nice, you got the crunch, you got the hint of spice, it's good for a a quick snack, like I said, throw that on a sandwich and you're ready to go. <laughs> Am I just starting to like Erwan? I'm gonna be broke after this video. I can't like Erwan this much. I can't afford it. I'm going to rate this for Haley Bieber's. I mean, it's a win-win. It tastes good, it's fresh. I have nothing bad to say about it. Let's add some spice to your life. We have a <clears throat> habanero hot sauce. I am a hot sauce kind of gal. I start off every breakfast with some hot sauce. This is how much? $13.50. 13 50 They're at, I mean, it is a big bottle. $13.50 is a lot for some hot sauce, but maybe it tastes really good. Maybe I will be converted to their hot sauces, but as of now, I'm good with my Cholula and Tapatio sauce. Hold on, let's read the ingredients really quick. Organic Kanye chili, organic habanero chili, organic distilled vinegar, organic garlic, sea salt, organic garlic powder, organic ground Kanye. Heat level, very hot. I think that you- Would I say something funny? Saying yeah. Kanye. <laughs> oh no, instead of cayenne? <laughs> Did I say Kanye? Uh-huh. Organic Kanye chili. Organic ground Kanye. What I meant to say all those times I was saying Kanye, cayenne pepper, you guys. I like hot sauce, but I can't handle that much spice in my life. Let's see how hot it really is. Mm. It tastes really tomato-y to me. It tastes like tomato soup to me with a kick of spice. I don't know if I'm, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh God, <coughs> the fact that I'm putting these two together, I, I don't even know what I'm expecting, but let's just like try it with something. All right. No, I don't like it. I just, I don't, I don't want that. I'm actually not disappointed that I don't like this because I don't think I see myself spending $13 on any hot sauce, no matter how good it is. I'm gonna give this to um, Haley's. It's not the best hot sauce I've ever tasted. Honestly, it's kind of disappointing. Okay, pesto. I really love pesto. I like pesto as a spread on a sandwich. Like anytime I see pesto in anything, pesto, pasta, whatever, like I get really excited about it. I think I'm just a big fan of like basil too. This jar of pesto is, wait for it, it is $21. Like what, what? That is, that's just Erwan. You know that's ridiculous. What, you put some basil and olive oil in a jar and blended it up? 
Right off the bat, it looks nice and fresh. It's a beautiful color, and again, it smells delightful. Is it fresh? Does it taste fresh? Is it gonna make me happy? Let's see. Not gonna lie, it's good. Why is it good? If you want something that is made for you with fresh ingredients, organic ingredients, then okay, sure. But I still can't justify the price. I really can't. Tastes is delicious. It's fresh, I'm not gonna lie. But $21? Let me start selling pesto on the side of the street and let me come up. That's a nice little side hustle right there. I will rate it high though because the taste is there and they're using really nice organic ingredients. So I'm gonna give this four Haley's. The only reason it doesn't get five is because of the price. Ain't no way I am buying $21 a pesto in this jar. If it was the size of this, then maybe. All in all, I liked everything from this round, all but the hot sauce. And the only thing I had an issue with was the price of these two. But I think the positive that comes out of this round for me is that I fell in love with this. This is my new pretzel dipping sauce. And for me, that's a win. Welcome to the prepared food round where everything looks really appetizing. Their food, that the hot bar, I guess, if you will, is really well known. It's a kind of a grab and go system. Honestly, when we were there at the store, there was a long line of people ordering food. There was actually families there, you know, like it's a Tuesday, school is back in session. And I saw a whole big family just like, I, I think that's where they get their lunches for their kids, to be honest. Not any old classic lunch boxes here in Los Angeles, no. They're getting bougie food. But I will say, I have a lot of friends, like if they're on their way to the beach or a friend's house, they'll stop at Erewhon and grab their hot bar food. From what they tell me, delicious, fast, convenient, and not crazy in prices, depending on what you get. It really kind of runs the gamut. But I have to say, this mad wrap is stunning. Like this is, LA in a wrap, right? You got your collard greens, you got your turkey. It looks like there's some white beans in here. We got kale. It really is Los Angeles in a wrap. And I will say they stuff a lot in it. It's not like, you know, a small wrap. Like that's pretty girthy. <laughs> I think it's gonna be really good. Let's give it a try. You know, when I'm silent and smiling, when I have something green in my hand, <laughs> It's definitely good. This, it's in the spot. A kale salad, when you're eating it, it takes a lot of work if you think about it. You're sitting there, it's like kale after kale after kale, you get tired of it. I think because they made this into a wrap, it's a lot more enjoyable to eat. For me, it doesn't seem like such a daunting task. I wouldn't be terribly upset spending $16 because look how thick this is. By the time I finish the whole thing, I'll be full. So honestly, I'm gonna have to give this five Selena Gomez's because, <laughs> Does that sound funny? Five Selena Gomez. Because honestly, it makes me feel how I feel when I listen to her music. Excited, happy, and it takes me on an emotional roller coaster. So, very happy with this. Look at me enjoying my food today. Next up, we have this sushi roll right here. It is tuna, avocado, um, looks like there's cucumber in there, and then black rice. I've never had a sushi roll with black rice. I honestly don't know if it's gonna change the flavor at all, but I thought, looks-wise, that it's really, really beautiful. This is $12.99, that's a still. It, for some reason, I don't know why I trust Erewhon to like produce like good, fresh sushi, just based off of all the other things that they sell at their store. Bloop, 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 bloop. Let's try it. Mm-hmm, 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 yeah, that's good. Let me tell you, as somebody that knows what bad sushi tastes like, or grocery store sushi tastes like, this is great. The tuna tastes fresh, the cucumbers, they haven't been sitting there for a while, they have, still have a nice crunch to them, and the rice isn't soggy. You know what old sushi tastes like? If you're like me at a grocery store, it starts getting like really mushy, or the opposite can get a little hard. This is fresh. I feel like they probably made this day of. At least it tastes like that. This is really great. No complaints. It's your standard sushi roll. There's nothing really special to it. Thus far, of everything we've tried as far as like taste, price, and portions, like you're really getting your money's worth with this. So, okay. Kudos to Erewhon on their sushi. 
I am going to rate this for Haley Bieber's. Obviously, I've had better sushi at restaurants and stuff, but for grocery store sushi, they're kind of killing it, honestly. Okay, so right here we have turmeric chicken tenders. I'm convinced that Erewhon may or may not add turmeric to certain things just to justify the price that they want to charge you because some of these things don't need turmeric, right? Some of them do. But some things just like don't need it. It's like, okay, let's put turmeric on it so we can sell these chicken fingers for $11. I don't like them. These chicken strips are bland, okay? They don't have a lot of flavor. Why doesn't the breading have a, any seasoning? And I'm not even really tasting turmeric at all either. It just kind of tastes like bland fried chicken. And that's almost impossible to do, okay? These just taste sad. Honestly, I'm not even gonna give this one Haley. They get zero Haley's. Like, they should take this off their menu. We want fried chicken to have some flavor, some spices, and some sauce. This tastes like nothing. No Haley's for you. Okay, we got some chicken noodle soup over here. I'm really excited about it. I don't know why I was so drawn to the chicken noodle soup at Air One. They have a bunch of different options of like different types of soups that you can get. And I looked at the chicken noodle soup and to me it looked really delicious. Like it just looked hearty. I'm just hoping, praying, that it's not bland. Chicken thus far at Air One hasn't really done much for me, but I'm thinking that the soup might be good. Hopefully the broth is salty and it just doesn't taste like hot water with some chicken in it. Hmm. Um, one second. I don't hate it. Here's flavor, here's like kind of bland. It's it's sitting like a little right here, but I think I still like it because it's light, not too salty. And I really like the textures and the thickness of the, the noodles. The chicken actually does kind of creep me out a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, only because it was a big chunk that I had and it was, um I don't wanna use the word slimy, okay? I'm gonna have to give this to Haley's. It's not that exciting and if I spent my hard earned cash on this and I took it home and I wasn't feeling good or if I needed a comfort food to make me feel better at the end of the day, I would be pissed. All right, next up we have the raw kelp noodle pesto salad. This portion right here was $5, but by the pound it's $22. I don't know how I feel about the price. Let me think on it after I taste it. I think this is the same pesto that um, they sell on their shelves that they're using in this salad. You also can see you have nice fresh tomatoes and then you just have the kelp noodles. Let's try it out. It smells delicious. Mm -hmm. This is nice. It's really refreshing. I like the texture of the noodles. And then you have the crunch from the kale and that burst of like juices from the tomato. It's really nice. I feel like this is another grab and go option if you want something light before you head to work or if you don't want something heavy, this is something that you can snack on and like feel really light and refreshing with. I really like this. I could literally probably order a whole pound of this and eat it myself in one sitting. I'm gonna finish it right now. I'm gonna give this five Haley's. I really like it. The last thing I'm gonna be trying with this round is this tofu right here. And when I saw it, I was like, wow, that tofu looks really good. I think the glaze that they put on it, just like it's shining at you. And it's kind of like giving you a wink, like, hey, come eat me. This plate was $9. If my memory serves me correctly, I believe that's really expensive for tofu. I feel like tofu is not, it's it's a meat replacement, right? So it's, it's not as expensive. But let's try it and see what the hype is all about. I'm kind of interested to see what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, immediately no. <laughs> Just remember why I don't eat tofu. Mm. The flavor is really great. Obviously this is an Asian inspired um, glaze that they put on top. It's very zesty, the, the glaze that they have on top. And I think that's the saving grace. I can't get over the texture. If I close my eyes and just taste the actual glaze, the flavor is really nice. So I think if you like tofu, you'll like this, but it's just not for me. Based off the sauce, I will give this four Haley's. Based off of my experience as a tofu not lover, 
I will give it to Haley's. But this sauce is hitting and it's kicking and you might like it. Snack round! One of my favorite rounds because I am a snacker. Sometimes I don't even eat meals. I will just snack through the day and that's all I need. First up, we have chocolate almond biscotti. Looking at them, all I really want is a warm cup of coffee with this on the side and maybe soak it in the coffee or just, it's like one of those like snacks that makes you all warm inside. Mmm, crunchy. Mmm, y'all hear that crunch? It's not like a thick layer of chocolate, it's like very thin, so you just get the right amount on top and then you get the almonds in there with the nice little cocoa powder with the chocolate on top. Also, I love it in the jar. If you're someone that cares about how the desserts uh, present in your kitchen, this is really beautiful. I am going to give these five Haley Beavers. I like them. Delicious, fast. I will eat this whole thing in one sitting though. That's my only problem. This is going to be gone by the time I leave today's studio. Mm. Next up we have some tortilla chips. This is the first thing that we're trying today that is not an Air Juan brand. This is masa they're, and their traditional tortilla chips. The reason why I grabbed this was because, look at this bag. Okay, this was, wait for it, hold for it. Take a deep breath before I say it. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. And you know what we're gonna do before we even try it? We're gonna count how many chips come in this bag because when I opened it, it was nothing but air that came out. I almost got a breeze. Like my hair started flowing when I opened it because that's how much air they put in it. I opened it up, my hair went like this whoosh, because the chips were all at the bottom and it was vacuum sealed with nothing but air. Eight dollars. These damn chips better have the best crunch I have ever tasted in my whole entire life. But before that, let's count how many come in the bag. One. <laughs> Two. Yes, we do. Three. 19, 20, and some crumbs. So 21. This doesn't even fill up the bowl. Let's try and see if it has the best crunch I've ever had from a tortilla trip. Yo, wait a minute. That bite and that crunch is actually really nice. Y'all heard that? One more time. And it's got some flavor to it. Wait a minute. I really didn't want to like these, y'all. <laughs> Not me totally, completely on them. Excuse my language. And me loving them. This has more flavor than any tortilla chip that I've ever had. And that's saying a lot. I really enjoy these and I kind of understand now why they feel like they have the authority to charge you $8 for this small portion. I'm actually perplexed by this. Justin, come on in. <laughs> right? Yo, Aren't they delicious? Well, because so there's this legend that like boomers think that McDonald's fries used to be like way, way better. And it's because they were fried in beef towel, which is beef fat. So. You That's taste what I'm the richness. Tasting. There is a yes. rich, meaty vibe to these chippies. Yeah. I'm holy really hell. Mad. Me too. But I guess this is like the embodiment of what you go to Erwan for is you are gonna spend a ton of money, but yeah, you might just have holy the best hell. version of something that you've had. Yeah, uh, now when you said the the tallow, um, like I am tasting like short rib. You know mm, what I mean? Literally. That's what it literally, tastes like. Yeah. It literally tastes like the flavor of short rib on a chip. Dang it! I'm too poor for this. I can't have expensive taste. This is a good round. I'm gonna have to, again, give out another five Haley. Honestly, uh, with crunch, texture, and that flavor that you're getting, these chips are good. The price sucks, let's be honest, okay? All right, moving on, wow. All right, next up is, I guess, the healthy version of a tortilla chip. It's a kale chip. When these popped up on the scene, I was like, huh? As you can see, they kind of split it in half. There's like your regular kale chip and this one has a little bit more of like a spice and hint to it. So we'll go regular kale chip first. Let's take a bite. The flavors are good. I think based off of everything I ate, maybe my mouth's just dry. It's just a little too like cakey and dry for me. So I'm not really enjoying it. The flavor is there, but 
with the flavor and the texture and everything, I, I feel like it's a little too much that my mouth can't handle right now. I'm gonna try this time to find one that's not as full. This one looks just like crispy kale with like a little bit of flakes on it. Much better. Yeah, much better. That's really good. The one on the left, they're definitely more flaky and then they have a hint of spice. It's not just regular flavor. These are one of those snacks that you're not gonna feel terrible about. You'll feel really healthy, but it tastes like you're eating something bad, which I appreciate because I like bad food. And if they can disguise healthy food to taste like it's bad food, try me up. The kale on the right, I'm gonna give two Haley Beavers. The kale on the left, or on my left, I'm gonna give four Haley Beavers. I prefer this one over this one. But all in all, very tasty snack. Next up, we have Trail Mix. And this bad boy costs $21. $21 and they don't even fill it to the top. You guys didn't even fill it up. You didn't even fill it up. That is rude. We have walnuts, we have almonds, we have pistachios, we have chocolate chips, and we have goji berries. I will say it's beautiful looking at it. Like the red, the green, the browns, and the the browns, the darker browns, the chocolate. It's a beautiful trail mix. And again, I like things that are beautiful. It makes me more happy when I eat it. Mm, 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 mm. Honestly, trail mix never fails you. I love this trail mix that it doesn't have any like salts or anything. Everything is raw in here. It feels like it's a really hearty snack. It's gonna fill you up if you eat a good, um, a couple handfuls. You're getting a lot of flavor from the goji berries and all the nuts and the chocolate. It truly is way better than the trail mix that I eat. I get one of, you know, like the old school trail mix. It's okay where you get the M&Ms in there. But this one feels like leveled up. She seems like, you know, that she's been through things in life. She's a professional. She has status in the world. The trail mix I eat is still like, she's at college still, trying to figure out life. You know what I mean? And again, if you have $21, to spend on trail mix. God bless you, let's be friends. I'm gonna give this trail mix four Haley Beavers. I'm being so generous and so nice today. All right! <laughs> what, am I in kindergarten? Chocolate chaga muffin. Let's keep chaga chugging along. Chaga is a mushroom. I have actually had chaga and coffee, I believe, once. Apparently, it's really good. It has a lot of antioxidants in it, and it's good for your body, so, when you think about eating a chocolate muffin, you're not like, ooh, that's a healthy chocolate muffin, but this is a healthy chocolate muffin. Uh, she's beautiful, look at her. Look at her crown on top, very nice. Ooh, oh. There's nothing better than having like the cakiness of the, the muffin that you're eating, and then throughout it, you get these like chunks of chocolate throughout. It really truly is a great experience when you eat them. There's a funny taste to it. And I'm not sure if it's the mushroom or not. It's a perfect texture muffin, but there's this weird taste that's lingering throughout the muffin. And I'm not sure just if it's the chaga or not, but does it bother me enough to stop eating it? No. I'm gonna give this two Haley Beavers. I'm satisfied that I purchased it today and I'm eating it and it's okay, but I will not be a repeat customer with this muffin. All right, we are on the superfood, healthy food round. I have been hearing a lot of things surrounding this fresh royal jelly. I'm still not quite sure what it is, but I know it comes from Queen Bee. I'm not talking about Beyonce, but for $34, it would make sense that it would be attached to Queen Bee herself because everything she touches royalty. Um, but no, we're just talking about an actual uh, queen bee in a hive. But on the box it says 100% pure fresh royal jelly. What is royal jelly from a bee? Royal jelly, nature's pure source of life transforming superfood complex, provides a natural rejuvenating energy. The queen bee feeds solely on and incredibly lays over 2,000 eggs per day. She is a busy woman and has an extended lifespan of four to five years compared to the three to four month life cycle of the worker bee. That's so sad. All they do is work all, all day, every day and die in four months. She's just laid up laying eggs and she lives for four years just enjoying herself. Royal jelly is a milky secretion. <laughs> Ew! A milky secretion made by worker honeybees. 
It's rich in carbs, protein, amino acids, fatty acids, vitamins, and minerals. The worker bees only have four months to live, okay? And here us humans come along extracting it and taking it away from them and then charging other humans $34 to eat it, telling them that it's all these great things that are gonna happen if you eat it. This better taste like rainbows and butterflies and happiness. Woo! That does not smell good. Ew. I have eaten a lot of really gross things in my work career. I'm more afraid to eat this than when I ate the bull testicles. Actually, they're not bad. I'm not excited. Ew, ew, ew. I feel like a three-year-old kid right now and the parent trying to give them medicine. Ew, uh-uh, mm-mm, no. Okay, I have it down, it's not that bad. But like initially, the texture and the, like, the, the taste is just freaking gross. There's just certain things that you shouldn't take from the wild for yourself. I think this is one of the things. The bees, we already take honey from them. Can we keep the royal jelly for the queen and just let it be? <laughs> Pun intended. I'm gonna just sit at uh, like no Haley Bieber's. I just like don't understand. And for $34, you're telling me this is gonna make me feel like look great. Well, I, for I already forgot what the benefits are. I'm just that angry about the whole thing. Moving on, I'm, I'm grossed out. I'm literally grossed out. Next up. Sea moss. This is something I have tried before and I actually do like and I think that it's great to use because it comes from the ocean. It's not harming anything. It's not stealing from anybody and it's good for you. Apparently, no flavor. You take a spoonful every day and that's about it. And then you get all these great benefits from it. Now this was $32.99. I know friends of mine that uh, make it, they charge the sim or similar amount, so I, I don't think it's that expensive. And because I've seen my friend actually make it and see how much work goes into it, I understand the $34, honestly. I know it's probably harder to make that, but that's just cruel. You could either eat it like a champ or you could put it in a drink, however you want to consume it. <gasps> I'm sorry. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. I just spit that out. Not because it tastes bad, but like, I think I've had so much food today that the minute that I put it in my mouth, you know, that that drop in your stomach that you get when you're on a plane where you feel a little queasy, um, that's just what really happened. I wasn't ready for that. It's not bad. <laughs> it's just, I wasn't ready for the texture. But I swear by sea moss, I like it. I just was not prepared for the texture and my stomach wasn't ready. I've had a lot of food today. Anyway, if I were to rate this, look, price-wise, I think this is actually a really good price for Air One. This has no flavor. It has that texture. If you are okay with it, Take it like a champ. I'm obviously not. You could just take a spoonful of it, put it in a smoothie and call it a day and you won't have a reaction like I just had. Four Haley Beavers. Not you actively ranking something that you spit out four Haley Beavers. But it's not because it's bad. It's because I literally couldn't handle the texture. Glad you got all that on camera. Wonderful. Last one of the day. Next up is the Daydreamer Acai Bowl. This has a lot of ingredients in it. The main thing that I personally like is the spirulina. And then on top they have like a coconut whip, uh, blueberries, and then of course granola. And you can never go wrong with the acai bowl. Like man, like acai bowls are really a great way to start the day. It's like just a nice fresh breakfast to have where you feel healthy and you get all the nutrition that you want out of like one little bowl. Um, so cheers, let's try it. Mm-hmm. This bowl is so vibrant, so sweet. It has a lot of fruit in here, so you're getting all the different fruits mixed in together. And I think the reason why, again, this one is a little bit more pricier is because they put spirulina in it, and a spirulina is a very expensive ingredient. But as far as an acai bowl goes, there's nothing really special about this one. I'll give it like two Haley Bieber's. I've had better acai bowls with like flavors and mixtures and textures. This one is okay. Wow, what an adventure. Honestly, I feel like I learned a lot. I'm so glad I did this video because before I never really shopped at Erwan, I think I would definitely go back and buy specific items, but these are the items that I definitely won't go back and buy that I do not think are worth it. I'm gonna start off with the Royal Jelly. You guys saw how much I was not a fan of that. I definitely don't think it's worth the money, 
Also, the fried chicken strips. Bland, not a lot of flavor, definitely not worth your money with that one. Also, I have to say that raspberry smoothie, the aftertaste just was not good. And lastly, I definitely don't think that $13 bottle of habanero hot sauce is worth it. Save your money and get two bottles of Tapatio instead. The things that I thought were definitely worth it and I'll be going back for, that Cocachino. It hit me and gave me the energy I needed to get through this video. And I love the balance between the coffee and the sweet. Second, oh my goodness, that kale wrap but with the collard greens on the outside. It was so delicious and I was really surprised for someone that normally gets wraps with tortillas. I've been converted. I love the texture of the collard greens. It was refreshing and it was good. I also absolutely loved the tahini turmeric sauce or the dressing. I loved it because not only am I gonna put it on a salad, but I could also just eat it with pretzels as a snack, as a dipping sauce. And lastly, the one thing that sh not only shocked probably you guys, but shocked me that I think is worth it, and it's so hard to say because it's $8 for a handful of chips, those masa tortilla chips. I think they surprised me the most because I was so critical of them, and then I tried it and I, absolutely fell in love, so I was shocked. Ah, what a journey. If you guys wanna go on more fun food journeys with me, you can follow me at Jackie Grubbs on all social medias. And for more amazing food recipes, food content, some inspiration of things you wanna do in the kitchen, make sure you hit that subscribe button and go to delish.com for more food parties. Whoop, whoop.